Be cordially welcome to a new documentary, I am engineer Hidakel Morrison, and I appreciate you decide to watch this educational content. We will see the technology that the James Webb Space Telescope already has ready, to show more, and new stars, never seen before. We will also learn how the James Webb could detect potentially habitable planets, and extraterrestrial life. Do not miss all this and much more, from the perspective, of an engineer. Let's start. The James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful telescope ever built, equipped with the most advanced and modern technological tools, will defeat hitherto unknown stars. This impressive observatory is packed with high-resolution cameras and infrared instruments, which will be able to capture sharp images of stars in our universe, even those obscured by gas and dust clouds. With the data provided by the James Webb Telescope, scientists hope to explore three main topics, dark energy, the stellar life cycle and the early universe. The technique that the James Webb Telescope will use to make its great discoveries will be spectroscopy, a tool used by astronomers to better understand the physics of objects in space. Spectrographs aboard the James Webb Space Telescope provide scientists with the data they need to analyze the materials that make up stars, nebulae, galaxies, and the atmospheres of planets. The light entering the telescope is divided into its different wavelengths by a grating or prism, forming a spectrum. This spectrum is then focused on a detector. The light from each chemical element has a unique spectrum, like a fingerprint. Astronomers analyze the pattern of the spectrum to figure out which atoms and molecules are present in the light source and to understand the physical and chemical characteristics of the source. Internal instruments of the James Webb Telescope make spectroscopic observations of large and complex targets, such as galaxies, nebulae, or crowded star or galaxy fields, in a single shot. Next, we will explain how these advanced instruments will also allow researchers to search for extraterrestrial life. But first, I ask you to support us by liking this video, sharing this video with your contacts, and subscribing to this channel, turning on notifications, so with your support, we can continue to frequently generate interesting documentaries on aerospace technology and the universe. Thank you for contributing to the creation of educational content. The James Webb Telescope is a natural evolution of the best previous telescopes, combining the Spitzer Telescope's view of the infrared universe with the sensitivity and resolution of the Hubble Telescope. Daniel Weiss, professor at the University of California, in this research published in the Astrophysical Journal, titled, An Earth-Sized Planet Model in the Habitable Zone of Centauri A-B, leading scientists have modeled what a relatively closely orbiting Earth-like planet would look like, a planet that could now be found, using the James Webb Telescope. Of particular interest to those researchers are the closest sun-like stars to our Earth, known as Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B. Their proximity and similarity to our own star means they could be a useful place to look for other life. To help in that search, the researchers ran detailed simulations of what a hypothetical rocky planet, orbiting in the habitable zone of those stars, might look like. They found that the planet would look quite similar to planet Earth. It would be capable of storing water like our Earth, as well as having some important differences such as being less geologically active. Scientists now hope that the hypothetical work could be used by the James Webb Telescope in the actual search for planets like our own. The chances of finding a big brother for Earth could be good, the researchers say. With the James Webb Telescope, astronomers also hope to measure the expansion of the universe, better studying dark energy. Because Webb will be able to image individual stars in such extraordinary detail, the researchers hope to more accurately calculate the distance between them. That data could help scientists determine how fast the universe is expanding. As for the stellar life cycle, the researchers will rely heavily on Webb's ability to see stars through clouds of gas and dust. Since knowledge of stars is currently limited to being studied by star formation in our own galaxy, the Milky Way, but with Webb's infrared capabilities, we can see through the dusty cocoons that harbor forming protostars in other galaxies, like Andromeda, which is richer in metals, and see how stars form in a very different environment. With the James Webb, scientists will examine galaxies in an area of the universe called the Local Group, a cluster of 20 galaxies with a diameter of about 10 million light-years, 
which is considered close by astronomical standards, to learn about the universe. Larger, especially the early universe. The local group of galaxies is a kind of laboratory, where we can study the galaxies in detail, each of its components. In distant galaxies, we can't resolve many details, so we don't know exactly what's going on. An important step toward understanding distant or early galaxies is to study this collection of galaxies that is within our grasp. Many unexpected discoveries are likely to be made with the James Webb, which continues to successfully progress through its calibration process, preparing for the start of operations in June 2022. Como as usual, we appreciate you informing us, it is a real pleasure to be able to provide you with the main news, trends and developments, about the most important aspects of aerospace technology and the universe, from the perspective of an engineer. I am the engineer Hitakel Morrison and I invite you to meet again in a future installment.